Hello again everyone, Mary Rose here at Stitch Bliss Corner reporting for duty for the third week of Mania um, and I think looking at everyone's plans they all seem to be going pretty well. Um, now it's the uh, <laughs> 22nd of May 2019 um, so I'm going to uh, show you where I'm up to um, and my progress. I'll cross to that uh, not too far away. Um, I don't know why but I've been thinking about the Titanic this morning uh, and how times have changed. Um, it was in April when that ship went down and in that era, it was women and children first, and then every man for himself. And I was just thinking of those gentlemen and men who were so brave to stand there and watch their wives and their children, and the babies, the families, their families getting onto those lifeboats and them choosing to stay behind what would what would that be like today that situation you know they had a different moral code in those days they had a strong religious faith many of them that helped them to face that terrible challenge of being able to stand back and allow others simply because they were women and children to get onto those boats knowing that they probably would not survive afterwards and I know there's a lot of you know they're talking about the classes and how first class um, you know more passengers survived and everything else um, but I think that has to be tempered with the fact that because there were first class passengers on the ships in those days that paid more, it sort of supplemented the fares of those who didn't have as much money and allowed them to travel when otherwise they wouldn't have been able to. Uh, I think things like that uh, tend to be overlooked a little bit. I mean, I think, uh, you know, it was just something that occurred to me. Anyway, on to happier things. Uh, we'll get back on to the... Oh, I must say too, just while I'm thinking about it, the James Cameron version of Titanic, I find it quite cringeworthy in places. I really, really do. I mean, I think the best film that was ever made about Titanic was called A Night to Remember, and it was based on the book. And... Um, Kenneth Moore played a starring role in that, along with, um, uh, now what's her name? Oh, gosh, I'm getting mixed up. She was one of the uh, Bond women, anyway. She she was um, she was in it. Um, but in any case, the the stars really are neither here nor there. But the actual story was quite close to the real life uh, descriptions of what happened on that night and I mean there's one glaring thing in the James Cameron one I mean I'm not saying the cinematography wasn't brilliant the music was fabulous uh, but when you know Rose jumped into the water with DiCaprio is his name <laughs> you know who I mean she had an overcoat on her that would have dragged her straight to the bottom and somehow or other she was <laughs> able to you know hold on to this piece of door or whatever it may have been uh, and I mean I, I realized that it was essential to the storyline for her to find the necklace in her pocket but nonetheless uh, you know I mean there was so much you had to suspend so much belief and uh, the history um, that you know I just well you know it left me reeling in some ways 
you know, I mean, the musicians, for example, on the deck, they, uh, they knew their repertoire, you know, the, the actual musicians that went on to the deck as the ship was going down to keep morale up, uh, which did happen. But they had um, so many uh, pieces of music in their repertoire that they didn't actually call the uh, pieces by name. They'd say play number 22 or play number 80 and they would know which one it was. Um, and it, it's sort of little details like that that could easily have been sorted out to make it as close to how it really happened. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm getting on to mania now because I'm I'm rambling. It's not as though you're sitting on my lounge drinking a cup of tea with me. You've got lives to get on with. So, yes, for the 22nd of May 2019, third week of mania is over. Now, I just want to mention three uh, people <laughs> before I go any further. And uh, one of them is Kerry, uh, Kitty Stitcher. Uh, she was one of the original floss tubers. And she actually has Ella's Danlos syndrome, which is um, a disease of the connective tissues. It, it, well, a disease, it's more of a syndrome, a group of symptoms that she has. And I just want to recognize her because she does a lot to bring EDS to awareness. And uh, it is EDS month. So I just wanted to say hello to Kerry. Uh, she um, has. She and I, we always watch each other's videos. She hasn't put one out for a while, but um, she has times when she just can't be doing that. So um, I just want to say a special hello to you, Kerry, and I hope things are going okay. Um, then Linda, Blue Horse Yellow Cow, she said that she was waiting to see the mad at dad face of the Harlequin because I did say that Paul, the... Uh, subject of the piece that I'm stitching for Mania uh, was Paul Cezanne's son and he was not that willing to be a, a uh, subject for his father and it really does show on this uh, picture but I'll show that to you um, shortly the stitching and uh, I did tell Linda she wouldn't be disappointed I hope she isn't <laughs> and then last but not least Melanie Smith of uh, yarns and threads now this woman is just so talented i mean she really is she does she stitches patchwork um she weaves like you wouldn't believe i mean her weaving is just uh, so complex looking and her color choices and you know she's just the artist of textiles in many ways um and she left a note a little um piece of wisdom that I thought was well worth sharing with everyone in one of my comments and she said it's all about the journey no matter if it is raising kids being married or even stitching and it is all about the journey isn't it you know with life and I just thought that that was such a good little phrase so thank you very much Melanie for giving me that nice little piece of wisdom. Now then, it's time for you to be updated on Harlequin, so I shall now ask my husband to put together this little group of updates so that you can see how I went from last time you saw me, and then I'll show you how it is this morning, or how he is this morning, the stitching Harlequin. Right. End of day 15 and uh, the face is coming in. End of day 16. End of day 17. And there's his face, Linda. End of day 18. And 
is working on that rather magnificent hat. End of day 19. Poor little fellow. End of day 20 and Poirot's hat is coming in just there. I've just moved across. End of day 21 and I have done some of the background here. Um, the top of the Harlequin's back, that's B-A-T-T-E, that was what they used to call the Harlequin stick. And I've done a little bit of Perrault's getting his face ready. But um, so that's the end of today. And then tomorrow I will do my update and you'll see how far I've got. Um, so I'll probably do a bit of stitching in the morning before I do my video for three weeks of mania. So I shall catch you a little bit later on um, tomorrow. Right, so that's as far as I got. Uh, uh, the colours are very vibrant uh, and I think they work very well on him. Uh, and of course, it's all interesting because that's just the way the piece is. It's an interesting piece. So what I'm going to do now is just bring him over. I've still got him on the hoop and I might keep him on the hoop actually. So there he is today, and there's his mad at dad face. <laughs> um, and here I have Perot, who is just coming in. There's Perot's hat and his hair. And here's uh, just to remind people, or for people who haven't seen this yet, and there must be one person somewhere who hasn't seen this, uh, there is the original that I'm working from. Um, so you can see that uh, this is another friend who posed for this one. Um, yes, yeah, so this morning, now as you can see, I've put some of my, what I call scaffolding in. Because sometimes, for example over here, I've got some little gaps where I haven't put my stitch in. And when I come to there, I'll use my grid spots to just quickly stitch in a square so that I know exactly just to reorientate myself so I know exactly what colors go in those squares instead of endless counting um, so here for example I've put a quick scaffold in so that I can just easily locate there and what those colors are so that's uh, that's what I do anyway uh, so I should be working down and doing the face now, for the rest of Mania, and there's only a week to go, uh, because of, you know, life happens and family bits and bobs, uh, it's possible that I won't be able to fully do every day updates on my stitching. Um, so I'll see how I go. But, you know, if, if you don't see an update from me uh, for the end of May, um, well, I'll just have to see when I can get back to you uh, because everybody knows things happen <laughs> um, you know, chat, I might be able to do the final part but maybe I won't so I'm you know don't be um, surprised if my next update doesn't come well I mean it is the last one so I mean I've made th you know three weeks through um, and we'll just see what happens there but other than that, uh, that's my update for Mania. And I will see you next time. And uh, happy stitching to everybody. Until then, bye for now.